check this out. That is cool. Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another one of my video. Today we got ourselves another new gel blaster content. Right over here, we got a scorpion. For the first time, I actually decked this thing out with all the accessories that came with it. Normally, I don't usually do it because most of them are fake. For example, this red dot side over here, which is of course fake. But this blaster looks exceptionally good with all those fake accessories. I mean, take a look at the drum mech over here. This is definitely the first blaster with a drum mech in this channel. And I am really glad that I can show you guys this this blaster. All thanks to Mac Potato for helping me to get this blaster over here. Mac Potato is a local Malaysia online foam dive blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dive blaster as well as gel blaster. Recently they have just started their very own website for international buyers. So if you guys are interested to get yourself one of these or other rare imported foam dive blaster, the link is in the description down below. In the box, we got the blaster itself, a drum magazine, a fake suppressor, a fake reflex sight, a laser, a grip, safety goggle, battery and charger, and a bag of gels. Let us first put on all the accessories. But first, you need to unfold the buttstock so that you can install the fake sight. Slide in the grip, the fake sight, the laser, and the fake suppressor. The battery compartment is located under the grip. Pull out the wire, connect the battery, put the battery in, close the battery door, put in the magazine, and this is how the blaster looks like with everything installed. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster. As you can see, the silhouette of the blaster over here is definitely a scorpion. This blaster over here is, of course, pretty similar with the other blasters that I've reviewed before. They came with camo pattern. The build quality is pretty much the same, I would say. Even the camo is kind of similar as well, which, by the way, I don't hate it. It actually looks pretty nice. And next, let us talk about the quirks and features of the scorpion gel blaster. So we won't be able to call this scorpion without the signature scorpion folding buttstock over here as you can see the buttstock over here is uh, made out of metal there's no plastic or nylon and the metal is actually pretty heavy and thick i mean this is actually really unexpected shouldering this blaster might felt a little bit weird because most of this part are hollow but knowing that it is made out of really thick materials this is definitely one trustworthy buttstock i mean i even try to like Smack it this way and see if this thing ever breaks open. So far, nothing breaks. This buttstock is not an adjustable buttstock, it's a folding buttstock as you can see. So if you guys wanted to use this blaster in the folding form, you will have to actually remove the fake red dot side. Or else you won't be able to fold the buttstock because that fake red dot side is actually blocking the folding mechanism over here. So after removing it, you can fold the buttstock just like so. I mean, this thing looks really cool. I mean without this. I mean, look at this. This is so scorpion. I totally like this form factor. And one more thing, guys. Check this out. That is cool. Next, even though the blaster is pretty small and compact after everything is folded up together like that, the grip of the blaster is actually pretty comfortable. They did not compromise the size of the grip, which is a good thing. In fact, I think this might be the actual size of a real scorpion. The trigger pull of this blaster is smooth and comfortable. This is one of those uh, clicky buttony trigger. In order to turn on the blaster, there is a switch located right behind the buttstock over here. I mean, not the buttstock itself. I mean, right behind the blaster over here you just have to switch it on and you can fire the blaster oh my god that blaster is loaded i mean firing a loaded gel blaster indoors is definitely a bad idea and please guys don't be like me always wear safety goggles every time you handle a loaded gel blaster i mean what i've demonstrated just now is a pretty bad example i thought that this is not loaded speaking about firing this blaster we only have one firing mode which is full auto and yes just like usual the only way to do single fire is trigger discipline just like so. The Picatinny situation of this blaster is pretty straightforward. We got a roll of Picatinny reel on top of the blaster, as well as one Picatinny reel at the right hand side of the blaster. Oh, I totally forgot about a Picatinny reel right at the bottom of the blaster for your hand grip, which is a pretty tight spot for a hand grip. Well, this is all because of the drum mag over here. Yes, you hear me right, this is a scorpion 
with the drum magazine. Holy moly. Speaking about the drum magazine, the loading mechanism of the drum magazine is actually pretty cleverly designed. Like you don't really have to remove the drum magazine in order to like load the drum. There is actually a very small loading door located right at the side of the drum magazine where you can just load the drum mag on the go. The mag release button is comfortably located in front of the trigger at the right hand side of the blaster. Yes, you hear me right, it is just the right hand side, it is not ambidextrous. Overall, I would say this is actually a pretty simple blaster. I mean, the quirkiest part is definitely the buttstock itself. So yeah, I guess enough of me talking. Without further ado, let us go test the Scorpion out. Okay, okay, we are back. So the performance of the blaster is actually not bad. It's basically on par with any other gel blaster on the market. At least I'm talking about those gel blaster with these kind of weird camo. The blaster can shoot from 98 FPS all the way to 135 FPS. Not a bad number. And that 98 FPS over there is actually an outlier. Most of the time, this blaster shoots over 100 FPS. So remember, safety goggles. The accuracy of this blaster in 8 to 10 meters is definitely okay. You can definitely score a hit. So no complaints about that. This is basically like the standard accuracy level of all these camo looking blaster. Just that this blaster have one of the quirkiest buttstocks so far. And the MP5K, if you guys don't remember. Operating this blaster so far, I did not encounter any jams, which is a good thing. So far, I would say that this is actually a pretty fun blaster for you to have fun in your backyard with your friends and family. And not to mention, that due to the color combination as well as the you know aesthetically pleasing scorpion looking blast over here this might be able to become a display piece on the wall as well if you are into that kind of thing so yeah i guess that's all to the guys like this video if you like it dislike this video if you don't like it subscribe if you haven't already and of course i'm going to see you in the next video adios guys yeah.